Have you ever wanted to create something unique for a special occasion, but didn't want to go through the effort of making it by hand? If you have a 3D printer with a multi-material system, this video is for you. Welcome to 3D Fish, where I explore and push the boundary of personal manufacturing, especially in 3D printing. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create fully customizable 3D printable greeting cards using free tools, even if you're not a designer. Before we begin, I assume you have basic knowledge of 3D printing, know how to use a slicer compatible with your printer, such as Bamboo Studio or Orca Slicer, own a printer supported by one of those slicers. If your printer is not made by Bamboo Lab and you're unsure about compatibility, you can download Orca Slicer and check if your printer is listed in the supported devices. Step 1. Choose and customize a graphic design template. We will start by choosing a design template that will later turn into a 3D printable card. Use a free, web-based design tool like Canva or Adobe Express. Both platforms offer a wide selection of greeting card templates. For this demonstration, I'll use Adobe Express. After opening it, you can search keywords in the search box like greeting card. You'll see a wide range of templates to choose from. Select a design that is simple and clean. If your printer supports only a few colors, stick to minimal designs. If you have multiple AMS units or multi-material units, you can go for something more complex. I will work with one AMS unit that supports four colors. Later, I will also show examples using more AMS units for higher color variety. Once you choose a template, double-click the design to customize the text, personalize the card with your own message, remove the background, make a note of the background color for later, Download the finished design as a PNG file. Go to the Maker Lab section on Bamboo Lab's Maker World platform. We will use two tools, Image to Keychain and Make My Sign. Tool 1, Image to Keychain. Open the Image to Keychain tool and click Create from blank. Upload the PNG file you just created. You will see a preview and basic adjustment options. If the preview looks fine, you can skip adjustments. Click Next and wait for the model to be generated. Choose how many colors the model should use based on your printer's MMU or AMS capabilities. I will use four colors for this example. Adjust the thickness and elevation settings. This adds depth and makes the final print look more dynamic. I recommend elevating certain areas like hearts or text to create a pop-out effect. Once you're happy with the design, move on to the next tool. Step 3. Build the greeting card layout in Maker Lab. Open the Make My Sign tool on Maker Lab. Click on New Project or Create from Blank. Start with the default shape. Remove the edge border by setting the border weight to None. Adjust the background color to match what you noted earlier. Import the 3D design by clicking the SVG icon at the top. In the pop-up window, choose Image to Keychain. Select the design you previously created. Your model will now appear on the canvas. Resize it and position it wherever you like. I recommend centering it. You can also adjust the card's thickness, but the default of 1mm is usually sufficient. To add additional text, use the text tool and type anything you want. Once satisfied, preview the 3D view to confirm everything is in place. Click the download button in the top right corner and select the 3MF file format. Do not use STL as it does not preserve color data. Step 4. Slice and print the card. If you are using a Bamboo Lab printer, open the 3MF file in Bamboo Studio. If not, open it in Orca Slicer. I will be using Bamboo Studio for this demonstration. In the Prepare tab, ensure your selected printer matches the model you will use. Load the appropriate <laughs> filament colors into your AMS unit. Click Sync Printer Information in the top left corner. Choose Mapping Mode. This automatically matches the colors in your design to the filaments you've loaded. If you're using a bamboo printer, mapping usually works well for simple color schemes. If you're using Orca Slicer with a non-bamboo printer, you will need to assign colors manually. Once mapping is complete, confirm and discard any modified profiles if prompted. You should now see your greeting card in full color in the slicer. If everything looks correct, slice the model and send it to your printer. Depending on the design's complexity, print time can range from 1 to 5 hours. Here are some greeting cards I've made using this method. As you can see, even with just four colors, you can create something visually striking. 
If you have more AMS units, you'll have more flexibility and better results. I recommend having at least two AMS units for full creative freedom and up to eight color support. Here is an example for something you can do with three AMS. That's how you make customizable 3D printable greeting cards using entirely free tools. If you found this guide helpful, feel free to share it or leave a comment about what kind of card you would design. Thanks for watching and happy printing.